Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Husband 30 male cheated on me 27 female with my own sister 21 female. Upset? Confused? Angry? Forgive me if it's confusing in places, I'm still shaking and confused by the whole situation. So me and my partner have been together for six years, live together, and have a five-week-old daughter. Me and my sister had a very close relationship since my parents haven't always been the best or supportive figures in our lives so we clung together and would even consider myself the mother and father figure in her life. Mine and my partner's relationship has been fail restrained since my daughter has been born. He would stay late at work be dismissive when I would want to communicate our feelings and huff and puff when I would tend to our daughter. I had a fairly rough pregnancy and quite a traumatic birth, so my libido and overall body confidence is scarce. I don't feel like being intimate most days and my partner would give me the silent treatment, but I never worried about him being unfailful. I was feeding my daughter on the sofa tonight with my husband sitting next to me. We were both watching TV and his phone kept vibrating, but I had a feeling something wasn't right with the amount of notifications and how quickly he would answer. He got up to go to the bathroom and he didn't take his phone with him this time. I grabbed it, put the passcode in and had a look who the messages were coming from. It was my sister. Before I looked at the messages my heart dropped and my heart was in my mouth when I started looking at the messages. There was nudes, sexting and conversation on how I'm not putting out like I used to which was a knife in my chest. They had met about four times in which I realized was the times where I was taking myself to the doctor for scans and checkups and getting shopping for my grandparents. I am beyond distraught. I have no idea what to do, where to go and how to go about confronting them. I feel like my whole world has come crashing down. I have lost my husband and my sister. Update. A lot has happened since I last posted. A lot came out, a lot has been said and now it's all out on the table. I called an aunt of mine after I posted and saw some comments saying I should have a friend or family member by. I packed my baby a bag, bottles, and stuff for a short stay with my auntie who's been close by for the pregnancy and knows how to look after my baby because I don't want my child in the house whilst I talk about this. My husband was confused and was asking why I was packing stuff for her and not me also. I told him he will see. I texted my sister come over right now, and she pushed Y and called me, but I just messaged her to get over here. Took her about 15 minutes to come and my aunt came and took my daughter in that time and my husband was getting increasingly worried. When my sister pulled up my husband's arse fell out. The sudden look of realization hit him and he started crying. My sister came in and I told her to sit down and I did as you all asked, took pictures of the chat her number and all the contents that was on the chat, pulled it up on the smart TV and told them both to tell me WTF had been going on. Admittedly, I did look quite insane, but I didn't care. She started crying. He started saying he was sorry over and over and I explained they had broken me L, how I raised my sister and gave my husband a daughter, and this is how they repay me. They confessed it had been happening for at least seven months. He fucked her in our bed a couple of times and they said it wasn't like they were in love with each other. Getting a lawyer in the morning, he's confessed to kissing a co-worker also. I'll be picking my daughter up in an hour and he's currently packing his shit whilst my sister is crying and begging me to not disown her. I'm ignoring it whilst I'm writing this. Really see I can only depend on myself in this time and divorce is an only option for me because I don't want my daughter thinking man can do this to her. He's begging me, and they are both begging me, but I'm not cracking, they made their bed, they can lie in it. Thank you everyone for your support and kindness. Edit. Also highly suspect grooming of my sister when she was 15. Leaving rooms together, and having a great bond feel very stupid for missing that and putting my sister in danger. Update 1. Hi guys I first want to say how thankful I am that people were so supportive, and even went out of their way to message me. I really appreciate you all for that, and it has given me a lot of strength. This is an update following on from my last post and what's happened in the week that followed. That night, I was in shock and went into getaway from me mode. I just wanted them out my house and not in my vision. 
There was lots of trying to persuade me, apologizing, crying, and it was chaos. My partner left with things in a bag and presumably went to his mother's, and he's yet to make a return. My sister was quite distraught, and I felt she was truly sorry, but it doesn't make what happened go away. She left not long after and I collected my daughter. It was a Christmas that didn't feel much like Christmas and spent it with my daughter alone. I cried a lot, ate a lot and decided to send my sister contact details for a therapist my therapist had recommended. I want to give her the space we both need right now and following on from the suspected grooming going on from when she was younger with my partner. Just assumptions at this point. It's her chance to open up about it if that was the case. As for my partner he's not messaged me, asked about our daughter or anything that I would have expected like, I'm really sorry this has happened. Or, can I come collect size his mother has removed me from all social media and I haven't tried the number to see if she has blocked me. I honestly think he has up and ran and used his mother as a bunker. All the legal divorce stuff is underway and I'm currently focusing on myself and my daughter. It's deeply upsetting and it all caught up to me a few days after but I'm doing better now. Thanks for all the concern and support I also hope to use this experience to now help others on here story too. I 25 female almost cheated on my husband 25 male twice. So I'm currently in med school and getting into med school is notoriously hard so to bulk up my application, I interned and volunteered a lot during uni with hopes it would get me in. I've had this friend, I'll call him Will, that I met while interning when I was 19 and he was 20. We became the best of friends and started doing a ton of things together. We'd go over to each other's house and watch movies slash discuss books. At that time I started dating my husband, I'll call him Virgil, and when they met for the first time Virgil didn't like that I had a close male friend like Will. Virgil and I got married two years ago shortly after we graduated uni, and we've been madly in love since. I made plenty of other friends interning, four girls, two men including Will, and we would have gatherings every so often just to catch up. I held one at our house and Virgil would always have the stink eye whenever Will spoke. But I liked Will since we had both gone through some tough times together and have shared experiences. Also Will is pretty unstable and I'm one of his few friends that know that. One night, we were sitting in his car because we had just come back from a hospital and Will was talking about his father, which he never speaks about. All I'd ever heard him say is that he hates the man and doesn't speak to him often. He started choking up, which was even more surprising since we're both emotionally closed off. I thought I'd hug him to try to comfort him. I hugged him for a while and tried to say things to reassure him. It was weirdly intimate. When I had leaned back we were about to kiss each other and I hesitated and almost let him do it before pulling away. He drove me home shortly afterwards and felt this guilt in my stomach when I saw Virgil. I'd been debating what to do for a while and I don't know. The second time, I was in interning at a hospital and they gave each intern a little work area. I knew my boss, 28M, from a previous meeting three years ago and we become good friends since then. I was in his office after hours one time and the conversation turned pretty unprofessional. It was more flirty jokes than anything and I knew that he had something of a crush on me from how he acted. The conversation led to one thing and he put his hands on my waist under my shirt and I let him feel me up. I put my hand under his shirt almost let him kiss me but then backed up. I took my things and left and sat in my car for around an hour just thinking about what I was going to do. I love Virgil with all my heart, I really do, I'm just confused and don't know what to do. I want to keep my friends, I don't want anything to be weird between all of them. What should I do?